Let's talk about how to build a sustainable supply chain to supersize and grow your business. Now, we talked about creating a sustainable, socially responsible business yesterday. And <clears throat> today, I want to go a little deeper on that with respect to our supply chain. Now, I don't know about you, but did you have a business back in 2020 during the pandemic? If you did, raise your hand. I certainly did. And if you are like me, you realize that all of a sudden, the world changed and our ability to get certain things, supply things, think toilet paper for the vast majority of, of the planet and the United States became a scarce commodity. Now, I used to make toilet paper for a living, so I have my own thoughts on that. But that was my first job out of college. Uh, the point is, it's incredibly important from a business standpoint to have control over our ability to get what we need in order to operate our business, our supplies, right? Uh, if you're in a manufacturing world, I grew up in the manufacturing world. I love manufacturing. And so uh, resource management and supplies is really, really important to me. And it should be important to you as well. So we want to not only control our business being things like uh, emissions free and or, uh, you know, carbon neutral. And we want what we want to take a holistic approach to the supplies and the things that come into our business. We want to deal with other businesses that are concerned about society as a whole, just like we are. We want to have common values and goals with our suppliers as well as our the people that we sell to our customers, right? As well as the people that are in our organization helping us to build and grow and supersize our business. So how do we go about doing that? And, and I want to talk a couple things about that. But bottom line to me, the reason we do it is it's the right thing to do. And the second reason is it allows our business to, to be, have a competitive advantage, to have what we need in order to run and serve the people that we're here to serve and to make the world a better place. Uh, we do this by making sure that we partner with the right people. We want to have a reduced environment. We want to reduce our environmental footprint. We want to make sure that our suppliers are doing the same. We don't want to use inputs into our products and services that are not environmentally sound because that rubs off on us, right? We get the reputation of the people whose supplies we use. The better quality, the more environmentally sound the supplies we use in our products and services, the better our, our business's reputation is. Uh, so we want to reduce carbon emissions, of course. We want to minimize waste. We want to uh, conserve natural resources and things. Uh, we want to promote social responsibility. We want to make sure that we are uh, using f fair labor processes and that our supply chain is as well. That This also goes on to how we distribute our products and services as well, right? We want to make sure that uh, those things are sustainable too as well. So our distribution chain should be just as sustainable as our supply chain is. We want to make sure that we uh, promote workforce safety. Always been a big concern of mine. Uh, and I teach my children and my grandchildren safety first. There's nothing worth doing that's worth any of your digits or limbs or sanity or having an accident over. Uh, there's always a safer way to do something and do it the safe way. Do it the safe way in the first place so that you can do it again tomorrow or do it again. Uh, there's a philosophy in the world that I've grown up in that we take, make, and and dispose of things. If you've uh, ever seen any of these documentaries on plastic uh, floating islands and things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We create so much waste and landfills in this country, it's mind-boggling. Uh, so we want to switch that from the take, make, dispose of mentality and past practices and switch to the and promote resource cycling or a secular economy where we uh, resource efficiently, we reuse and we recycle. So we want to promote and design for durability. We want to de design for uh, recycling. We want to design for uh, repairing things, right? We want to make things that are going to last. Uh, we want to have and keep in mind that upfront, it seems like doing these things seems a little more expensive. But the overall long-term costs and benefit, benefit far outweighs the cost. Uh, we need to make sure that we're doing that in all of our decisions. We need to consider not just the short-term quick solution, but what are the longer-term ramifications of that choice, that decision, that uh, project, et cetera. What are the long-term 
positive and negative impacts of that, of everything that we do, right? And that sometimes feels overwhelming when we think, oh, I can't just solve the problem right now. I have to think of what is, are the long-term consequences of that. Guess what? We've always had to do that. We've always had to be aware of the short-term impact and the long-term impact of every decision that we make as a business owner. So curious about uh, your impact or your questioning of your supply chain. Do you, and I used to do supply chain audits as part of my corporate role. And as I was getting into different businesses, we always interview our suppliers. We always find out what we need to know and what we can about their business because we want that to be a match for us, right? We don't want to do businesses that have different core values than we do because that negates our brand, that negates the good that we're trying to do in the world. And it makes us look bad, right? If we find out that one of our suppliers is super unethical or laundering money or doing something illegal or immoral or uh, wrong or cheating the system in some way, that rubs off on us. And so we never want that to happen. So curious about your investigation or impact or uh, use of supply chain sustainability. Do you pay attention to where your supplies are coming from? Or are you just grateful that you've got them <laughs> to create what it is that you want to create in the world? Share in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting business strategy, a strategy you can use right now to grow and build and supersize your business by enhancing your brand reputation, by reaching the people that you want to reach more readily, and by serving them to the best of your ability. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, see you tomorrow.